At sa gabi na pupuyat ang iyong nanay Sa pagtimpla ng gadas mo Nagisilang ka sa murong ito Laging tuwa ng mukulang mo At ang gamay nila ang iyong My friends told me that it's more fun in the Philippines And I think it is definitely true As people here have music in their blood There's no other time to enjoy singing and dancing with them than now At sa gabi na pupuyat ang iyong nanay Siyat ng iyong My friend Aaron showed me around BGC or Bonifacio Global City in New Hip District in Manila. I saw many chic cafes and restaurants around. It is a premium shopping area too. We need to take 15 times. From what I've observed, what popular right now are bubble tea and mango dessert as the Philippines can grow a lot of mangoes. Even a Thai restaurant we dropped by today is also named Mango Tree. Hey Mix, how Hello, are you? Art. Thank how you, are you so much for coming. All right. So Welcome this to is Mercato. Yeah, I'm glad to be here at the new town. It's called BGC. Yes, it's basically a local market who wants to serve um, people around here. Gets a ticket of, let's say, 500 pesos in a restaurant. Okay. Your 500 pesos in Mercato can actually fill it in with two or three meals, even four. Yeah, right, right. You can and have uh, Korean beef. Yeah. You can have big sausages. Yes. And everything like that. So the place is open not every day, but Wednesday not every to day. Saturday. For BGC, we also we have Wednesday to Saturday. Yeah. It's from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. Yes. It's so it's good for so Saturday night for people to enjoy the food Definitely. over the night. Here, what you see here, it's okay. more of what you actually see. It's it's vegan longanisa. Uh, it's uh -huh. it, they call it bagnet rice patom. Is it like tip? Like so it's local it's, Filipino food. It's local Filipino food. So oh. whatever you see, the longanisa there. It's more of the V, it's what we call vegan longanisa. Mm. This is one of the highlights of what Mercato is. So it's more of the grillers because oh, this when, when they grill, actually see yep. the smoke, they know yep. it's Mercato. So this is where you can actually enjoy what we call the isaw, which is uh, chicken um, chicken liver, something like oh, that. Okay. So even uh, you see there blocks of, uh, blocks of something, it's actually what we call dugo. So it's chicken blood. Oh. Our trip in Manila would not be complete without riding a jeepney. Francis, my friend, will show me this local way of transportation which is also regarded as a national symbol of the Philippines. It's like a common way of transportation. Yeah, yeah, most common way. It looks like American style. Yeah, yeah. This used to be like a military style jeepney. It was turned into public transportation back in
because if you don't ask, you get lost. Huh? Ryan, what is Bambi? Is it something about bamboo? Yeah, so <laughs> we are very straightforward with the name. It's a bamboo bike. Yes. So BAM bike was uh, really created as a project to help create sustainable livelihood. Right. Um, so we're working with a community development organization and we've built bamboo bikes. We are building the bikes in the province of Tarlac in the Philippines. So yeah. it's about 130 kilometers north of the city. Right. And there is bamboo in the area. So we use local bamboo. Wow. And local craftsmen to assemble and build the bikes. Okay. Using a sustainable raw material and also creating jobs for some of the people that need them the most. We were just uh, given the grand award for the uh, Developmental Social Enterprise Awards. And I guess, yeah, we're very humbled and happy to see yeah. that the, the work that we're doing is being appreciated. Congratulations. Ah, thank Again, you so yeah, much. Yeah, we're happy for you too. Our tour basically takes you around to all of the major locations and we do things differently than any other tour. Because we're on bikes, you can go in and out of places that other tours don't see. Okay. We created Bam Bike Eco Tours to provide really meaningful experiences for curious adventurers uh, right here in the heart of Manila. So if you want to come for a fun ride and an educational experience and support our causes, please do visit us and we'd love to have you on our tour. Chuanqui, the oldest fast food in Binondo, Chinatown. Oh, and we're gonna eat here. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. In Nuruqaga, we have a chance to try like Chinese food in Chinatown in Manila. So right. this is like the first settlement, yeah. the first fast food of, of, of in this area. And also the neighborhood is like the first settlement of Chinese, Chinese yeah. people. But uh, these are Christian Chinese. Christian Chinese. Because uh, Spaniards wanted to Christianize everyone, so... Right, right. Okay. So that's why I saw a lot of... A lot of churches and... Yeah, churches and also like Chinese-style buildings as yeah. well as European-style buildings. Correct, correct. How is it? So, Chinese-style. Yeah. Safitel Philippine Plaza Manila is a legendary luxury hotel in Manila, located near Manila Bay. There are great facilities to serve thousands of guests who visit or stay at the hotel every day. I love the large swimming pool, it's for everyone. I think this is also one of the best places in Manila to watch the sunset. course it's spacious and I feel the elegance in French style decoration so comfortable and I'm happy to get this view of Manila Bay for my own bedroom no. No. Now come to the highlight of Safitel here, Spiral Restaurant. Actually, I've heard about it for a long time. My friends keep telling me you should try Buffy here once because it is the best in Manila or probably in the Philippines. Today, I'll prove it to myself. I was surprised to see the whole floor is just food. There are 21 big food stations where you can enjoy food from around the world in one meal. At many food stations, the chefs prepare food fresh right in front of your eyes. The variety of food here is so impressive. While I'm here at Safitel, I always see lots of people who are here for breakfast, for lunch and dinner. Spiral is open every day and guests who do not stay here can also come to enjoy their food. Wow, I'm so full of happiness.
Hope you enjoy the trip. Stay tuned for the next episode. Please subscribe.